Hi guys, it's Mino, welcome back. Um, we are gonna be playing with something really fun today. I've been doing these comb wrecks, comb wreck ring pours, <laughs> and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I've been sort of playing with a couple of other ideas. So that's what we're gonna kind of explore today. I have actually a bigger canvas. I've done this on smaller ones and I've done it on 24 by 24s. So today we're using a 24 by 30, just to give me a little bit more length to be able to, to swipe the comb through. So, let me show you my colors real fast and then we will go ahead and get started. Okay, the first one here, this one is Chroma Molten Metals Pergari Silver. Very pretty color, nice and deep. And I have mixed it a bit thick this time because I really don't want it to get lost. So, I have the Pergari Silver by Chroma Molten Metals. I have Artist's Loft Silver. Very pretty color. And I have one of these for my base coat that's also mixed up very, very thin. So I like these two together. I'm hoping that it does pretty things. And I have the Payne's Gray from Golden's, which is, this is what I was actually dreaming of this last night. <laughs> I got a Payne's Gray background with silver and gold, I don't know, comb things through it. So it should be really cool. So that's the Payne's Gray, leaving a mound on a mound. I have Liquitex Basics Ultramarine Blue, which I love to play with my favorite colors. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. These two are really pretty together and I'm like loving this. <laughs> and I have some purple, Dioxazine purple also from Liquitex Basics. Just because I like the purple with the Payne's Gray and with the Ultramarine Blue and I didn't want it to be too monotone. So that should add a little bit of warmth. Um, I also have my Decor Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. Mound on a mound on a mound. There is some water in that, so if we want to get like a cloudy effect going, it might work out pretty good. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay, and that last one is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Silver mixed much thinner. So this one is not really leaving. I'm not putting any more water in it because it's already really watery. <laughs> okay, all right, so. Let's get started layering our cup. So what I had said, what I really wanted to do was have a, a Payne's Gray mostly background and then I wanted to pull the comb through like areas of silver and white and gold to see how that goes. So to that effect, we're gonna start with some Payne's Gray, kind of a thicker layer. And I'm gonna go right into the Fergari Silver, smaller layer. Then we're gonna use some of the ultramarine blue. Some of the artist's loft silver. Almost looks white in comparison, but it's not white. Um, speaking of white, let's put some white in there. <laughs> okay, and some gold. I'm gonna go back to the Payne's Gray, a thicker layer, and I'm going to put some more Dioxazine Purple in there, put the Fergari Silver, Ultramarine, a little bit more gold, and we're going to go back to the Artist Loft Silver. Okay. So we're probably gonna need more than one cup because that's a big canvas, it's a 24 by 30. Okay, so we have our cup ready to go. I have my base coat flow extender ready to go. And I think I like that better than putting down a whole base coat. I like pouring a little puddle and then doing my pour and then doing the flow extender around. It's a lot faster and easier to spread out. So this is ready to go. All right, let's move these out of the way for the moment. All right, this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Okay, we're gonna pour a little puddle of the silver. I think I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna put this one over to the side because I don't wanna pour it right in the middle because I might do another pour over here and I don't want them to smoosh together. So, okay, here we go. We're going to get into that Payne's Gray. So 
remember the first layer I put in was the Payne's Gray and I put it a big thick layer and this is why because I wanted that solid section of color because I want to pull the comb through that so that's really cool that's really cool I love that all right we're gonna layer a cup one more time real fast you see it there okay all right I'm gonna do the same thing again a big layer of Payne's Gray Okay, silver, black steam purple, Let's go with some of the artist's loft silver, a bit of gold, ultramarine in there, back to the paint gray, because the artist's silver, docks is in purple, ultramarine blue, artist's loft silver, I'm going to end it with a big chunk of the paint gray. do this. So, let me this this way just a bit. So we're going to pour this one over here. Look how pretty those cells are. Okay, here we go. There's a puddle. Here we go. We're going to do a ring pour again. Side to side a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stop that there. All right, now let's see. Okay, this is cool. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour the flow extender around there. I guess I touched the cup. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this around. This is much thinner than that paint that's already on the canvas. And that's just gonna help everything flow nice and easy and move easy and not get stuck and roll over itself. All right, let's spread that out real quick. See, this is so much faster than <laughs> laying down a whole base coat. <laughs> I used to do it the other way. <laughs> I think it also helps that I've been really trying to make sure that my base coat is a lot, my flow extender is a lot thinner than the other paint. It's definitely been making life easier. And how you could tell if your paint is too thick, if you start to tilt, and instead of it moving uniformly as one piece, it starts to move in different sections. You get a long drip moving down, that means one of your colors is thinner than the rest. So, but if your base coat is too thick, then the paint is just gonna start rolling over itself and kind of eating itself. Okay. Okay, so I wanna take the comb through the solid areas, not so much through the parts with the lines and the rings and all that. So I'm just gonna move this down just a little bit to open the dark Payne's Gray up a bit more. Okay, so I'm dipping the comb in the silver and we're gonna kinda go nice and slow. This is gonna be so pretty when it gets stretched out. All right, we're gonna do one more over here. I think I'm gonna come in through this part. I'm gonna go through this. OK, 
Okay. Oh, that's cool. All right. I love this part. I kind of want to do another one. Like through here. We're going to go right through here. a little bit and see what happens. All right, so right now most of my weight of my paint is over there. So I'm going to turn the canvas around. And the first thing we're going to do is take some of that weight back that way. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to go off that corner over there. There is a lot of paint on here. I'm going to actually shove it back this way first. We're going to go down off that edge. And go down towards that bottom corner. There's still a lot of paint on here. So some of it's going to come off. There we go. Push it back this way again. And we're going to get that corner down there. Take it back towards the center again. We just have that one last corner. And we're just going to hook that over the edge and then pull it back. Come back this way now and let that float down. I'm okay with some of that going off at the bottom. That's fine. I'd rather stretch out the really cool part and see what it gives us. Take some of that off at the bottom edge down there. Okay, so let's take a look at it at this point and see what's going on, see what we like, see what we don't like. I love this part with the purple. I'm not so crazy about this, but I have a feeling it might dry really cool. Okay, so I'm going to stand it up pretty much and tilt off a lot of the bottom. And see what happens. We'll get rid of some of that white. Okay, now I'm going to take it down to the other side, down to let it just float down at the bottom. And the paint's still moving really easily, so definitely some needs to come off. But it's not moving very, very fast, which is good. We are almost there. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> you remember when I said my cup touched the... <sighs> Well, maybe we can fix it. I'm still not liking this. So I'm gonna take more of this, these two edges off because I like what's happening up there with the darker colors better. I don't think we need that white on these corners. And this is the nice thing about using pouring medium. Liquitex gloss medium and varnish is what I'm using in this case, but that's what allows your paint to stretch. This is the nice thing about having a little bit more paint than you need, is that when you're looking at your composition, if you see something that's not working, that's not blending or jiving with everything else that you've done, you can take it off. This is bugging me. I'm just going to take my finger and run through there like that. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? Take my cup, put a little bit of purple in it, and some gold, and a little bit of the silver. And I'm going to go right across here from the drippy part that way. Some of it out. Um, I'm not crazy about that. So let's try something. I'm just gonna take the comb and drag this in through there, and I'm gonna do it again on this side. Okay, now I kind of did that yesterday on a test canvas and it actually turned out pretty cool. 
So right now it looks a little weird. But I think it's gonna, no, I can't. <laughs> I gotta pour it again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least that part of it is driving me nuts. Okay. Now this is looking kind of cool though. I don't know. I wish you guys could tell me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Maybe we'll just do a small ring pour over here and stretch that out and see if we can't leave the rest of it. I don't know, but I'm not crazy about this part either. Hmm. No, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it over here. Take two, got our pour, got our comb. We're gonna go again. Now, because I have a lot of gold in here, I am actually gonna try to spread some of this or pull the gold through the comb to these areas. So let's stretch this out just a tiny bit. First thing I'm going to get is that. <laughs> We're going to stretch this this way and cover that corner. Right back to the center. Well, that kind of worked, but not as much as I wanted. All right, we're going to take some of that off now. Bring the weight of the paint back. This is a little bit too straight, so... So right now the weight of the paint is about here, but I want to have this section where the comb was dip down a little bit more. So I'm just going to, now that the weight is here, I'm going to move it slightly over this way and then we're going to push that part down a little bit. Okay. 
I don't know if this one's going to work, <laughs> but we'll see. There's actually some really, really beautiful colors in here, and I think when it dries, it's going to be a little different than it looks now. Because there is a lot of metallic in here. Okay. I think we're going to stop there with this one. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I will show you guys when it's dry. Oh, I'll torch it real fast. There it goes. <laughs> Could be really cool. Okay. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm walking away. <laughs> I'll show you guys what it's dry. Okay, I can't leave it like that. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna pour more in my cup, and then we're just gonna pour on top of it. So I mixed up a little bit more Payne's Gray. We're gonna go with a big, thick layer of that. Okay, we're gonna go right in the middle with a ring pour. And I'm not gonna touch the darn cup to the canvas this time. Okay, here we go. Okay, just let that spread for a second. There's my little spoon. this way. I'm going to come back this way. Through here. We can do this. <laughs> My eye is tearing. Okay. So we're going to go that way now. And stretch this out over to that corner. I am going to take it off the edge. There. Okay. Come back to the center. Actually, we're just going to go down off that corner. Since we're here. Corner. And lay the paint back down towards the middle. Actually, I'm just going to let it stretch all the way down. I'm going to go off that corner now. I like that better, actually. I like that a lot better. Come back to the middle and stretch out. Okay, now I'm gonna leave it alone. So I like this better, and I'll tell you why. Because it's not, there's still a lot of busy parts on there, but it's not so busy that your eye doesn't know where to go to. We do have that pretty solid section. Let me wipe my hands off so I don't. 
All right, we have this really pretty dark Payne's gray section in here with all these pretty cells coming up. This part is going to dry really cool. So this is the Payne's gray mixed with the silver and the white. And then we've got the purple and the gold coming through in here. There's a little bit of the comb. You see part of the comb wreck in there ah, and in here. So this is cool. I like this a lot better. I can live with this. It's not going to drive me crazy while I'm staring at it. If I had left the other one the way it was, I would have been messing with it the second I put it down. So, and I am covered in paint now. <laughs> I think I'm going to go take a bath. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging with, hanging in there with me <laughs> and hanging out with me. <laughs> but you know, I just... I know what would have happened if I had left it. I would have messed with it and messed with it and not been happy with it. So this is better. It's much better. And we're getting all these cool cells, which is awesome. So that's cool. Okay. Cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. <laughs> so this is a couple of days later. This, I don't know. Can you guys see the tiger? There's the tiger's eye there. And it comes down to his nose. I don't know. <laughs> this part kind of looks like a tiger paw. Of course, I might just have tigers on the brain because we've been watching Tiger King. <laughs> but uh, I think this one is definitely going to be tiger. Maybe tiger comb. <laughs> but it's really cool. I love how you can see all the different colors in here. You've got the Payne's gray got the ultramarine blue up there mixing with the silver and that silver is so cool it's so windy here today sorry beautiful cells coming up just a little hint you can see the sparkle on it the daxazine purple and the gold the silver over here blended a bit more than I want but it's okay it looks pretty cool Beautiful lines in here, and this part is some gorgeous, gorgeous cells. Get out of my shadow. There we go, that's pretty. So cool. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Hard to see because the silver is very reflective. It's cool down here at the bottom. Sorry, this one's a little hard to, <laughs> to take video of. Pretty neat though. I totally see a tiger. <laughs> so this was cool. Anyways, I realized that this was a long video, but I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And you know, sometimes this happens. It's not always perfect right out of the bat. You gotta, you gotta try sometimes. <laughs> Anyways. Thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a great day.